Hi students, I'm Amy Prosser, and today I'm going to tell you all about your new Google account. To get started, you should sign in at gmail.com. Just go to gmail.com. It'll take you to a page that looks like this. Go to sign in. And if there's another account that pops up, you're just going to go to add account. And you'll be able to sign in. So sign in with whatever the email is your teacher gave you. Mine has my name and yours probably will have your first and last name and some numbers as well as your charter and it'll end in dot school which is a little weird it's not dot com or dot org just know that it's dot school for Google go to next it'll ask you for your password if you're on a personal computer stay signed in is fine but if you're on a shared computer you should not use the stay signed in option so type in your password and then go ahead and click sign in. If this is your first time going into your account, you'll get a page that looks like this. It's gonna ask you to accept the policies of Google and their policies summed up are be nice to other people online, don't be rude, don't be mean, don't be hurtful. And also you should know that your school has access to pretty much everything that you do with the account. So use it for school purposes and you know use it professionally. Once you click accept, you'll get to your inbox. Here's where it starts getting fun. First off, your Gmail inbox is not gonna look very exciting right now. The first thing I like to do is go and change my theme. So I'm gonna go over here to the little gear to get to settings and then go to themes. Choose a theme you'd like. I'm gonna go with, hmm, I kinda like bugs. I'll go with this bug thing. I'll close that and suddenly my inbox got a lot cooler. Look at that caterpillar. Anyway, um, the next thing you're going to want to do is change your password because right now you have the default password and everyone has the default password. To change your password, go up to, instead of the image of yourself up here, you're probably going to have a letter or two letters for your name. Click there and go to My Account. It'll open up a page with lots of options. You want to go to Sign In and Security. Click there. And you'll see, if you scroll down, there's a section that says signing into Google, and it'll say password last changed. And this is where, if you click here, you can go in and change your password. It'll ask you to verify your current password and then choose your new password. Once you're done with that, you can go back to Gmail. So I'm just gonna go back to my Gmail. And let's look at some of the cool tools you have. I mean, obviously you have email. You can send email messages by going to compose and writing emails to your teachers or you know uh, if you have a job you could use this as a professional email for your job aside from that though there's a bunch of cool tools and they're all hidden up here if you go to this it's like a waffle go to the waffle and if you go to google drive here it'll open up drive which gets you to a ton of cool tools now your drive is going to be empty mine has got a bunch of stuff what you can do in drive is really neat you can go to New over here. There's Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, and under More, there's even more stuff. Let's start by going to New and creating a Google Doc so you can see what that looks like. Basically, it's like a Word document. You can use it for essays, you can use it for reports, you can use it if you just want to type a list of stuff, that's fine. Um, you don't have to use your drive for only school documents. Um, and actually, what's great about Google is it allows you to share documents. So I can actually go, let's say this is an essay I'm working on, and just title it up there and go to share. And I can just type in the email address of somebody and say, hey, I want them to be able to edit or just comment or, oh, maybe I just want them to view it. Well, let's say it's my teacher. I want my teacher to comment. So I just type in my teacher's email. I type this essay up and bam. I've got my teacher able to give me instant feedback with little comments on my essay. Now let's get rid of our essay for now. Let's take a look at another tool. There's Google Sheets. Google Sheets creates spreadsheets, which can be really great if you need to uh, organize data. You know, you've got lots of little cells to put your data in. You can make charts and graphs. Um, but yeah, it's great for numbers. If you're working with lots of numbers, fabulous tool. Um, other tools you've got Google Slides. Google Slides is like PowerPoint, so you can create a presentation and you can actually, you, you've got all sorts of different themes. 
You can make new slides, and it's just like PowerPoint, except it's in your browser. And what's cool is, imagine you're working on a presentation with other students. You can just go to share and give them editing access, and suddenly you can all work on your presentation together at the same time and actually see what others are doing on the presentation. Other tools. There's also some more options down here. There's Google Forms. If you have ever wanted to create your own survey, Google Forms allows you to create surveys and quizzes. Google Drawings allows you to make, you know, drawings, but really it's more like you can manipulate shapes and objects to make some kind of cool projects. So if you needed to make like a digital poster or something, you can use Google Drawing to do that. You've got all sorts of color options. You can add text, um, you, know, you know, like have text boxes. You can add pictures. It's pretty cool. And just think of it as, yeah, like a digital poster. Other things, you've got Google Sites. If you've ever wanted to create your own website, Google Sites allows you to do that for free, which is pretty cool. And also Google My Maps allows you to customize maps and actually save locations on a map. But wait, there's more. If you go to New, under More, you can actually connect more apps. And there's all sorts of really cool apps. If you go here to All, you can actually search. Um, let me look at Entertainment. Uh, if you like editing videos, there's Wii Video. If you like editing photos, Pixlr Editor and PicMonkey are both great. There's also lots of other options, a music player, converters for audio files and photo editors. Um, if you go to games, I'll see what's under games. There's some different games in here. There's also uh, education, everybody's favorite thing, right? Uh, Lucid Chart allows you to create um, mind maps. So you can actually like diagram things. It's pretty cool and that's free. Um, if you just scroll down, there's tons and tons of stuff. There's a typing speed test, you know, there's a little of everything. And what's nice is when you roll over it, you'll see the rating because, you know, as you know, on the app store of any app store, some apps are going to be better than others. So take a look at what the reviews look like before you get started with something. Um, anyway, feel free to add some apps. Now you can also access the apps from the waffle. So Google Drive's here and you can get to the apps that way. But also if you look, there's docs, sheets, slides here. There's calendar, there's a calendar. You can have a personal calendar in here and you can share calendars with people if you want. Sites is here. If I go to more, there's YouTube. Yes, your Google account links to YouTube. But remember, once again, this is your school account. Just keep it professional. Now, aside from all of that, the last thing I wanna talk about is Google Chrome, and that is the browser I'm using right now. You can use Google Chrome um, with your Google account to actually have it automatically save bookmarks for you and put extensions on for you. Um, it's pretty amazing. So if you go on like a Chromebook, you sign into a Chromebook with your Google account, and what will happen is it will automatically bring up all the bookmarks you've saved to Google Chrome um, with that account and also the extensions. Some of my favorite extensions are, I love this APB, it's Adblock Plus. It blocks all the ads on sites. It doesn't work perfectly, but it's pretty awesome to get rid of most of the ads. Um, there's one tab, which if you like having a bunch of tabs open, it like smushes them all together into one tab. There's some other ones too. And if you, if you want, you can actually go here to more tools and go to extensions. And this will bring up the Chrome extensions I have. Now, you can also go down here to get more extensions and there's a whole web store of free extensions lots of cool stuff so you can check out lots of different tools people have created and they're all rated which is nice um you know and pick some out try them out you can always remove them there's themes too if you want your google chrome to have a theme like mine when i open a new tab has a dog because i like doge so i have this little doge dog here but you can pick what you want to have your theme for Chrome. And the key here is you really only want to sign into Google Chrome if you are on your own computer or if you're signing into a Chromebook, it'll automatically sign you into Google Chrome. So otherwise, if you're on a shared computer, you don't usually wanna go and sign into Google Chrome because it's not as easy to sign out. Um, but 
no matter what you're you know doing on a public computer, make sure you sign out of your Gmail account when you're done. Um, when you're you know done with all your Google tools that you're using, make sure you always go and sign out because you never want someone else using your account because who knows what they're going to do. They can make you look really bad. So with all of that, thank you for watching. I hope this gets you excited about your new Google accounts. Have fun, keep it professional, and stay smart.